Hey guys, have you ever had a belt that doesn't have enough holes? We're going to fix that today. This is a belt we got in Minnesota a few weeks ago on a uh, Boy Scout canoe trip at Northern Tier. The belt's great, but the holes are too big for the belt to hold on and there aren't enough holes. So we're going to fix that. So stay tuned. We're going to use our laser because I lost my leather punch. Thanks for joining us. So here's the problem. This belt did not have enough holes and the tab on the belt buckle doesn't really hold in the belt when you insert it into the existing holes. So I was asked by Summon Up Boy Scouts to add two or three more holes and to make them a little smaller so that the belt buckle would stay on. So this is what I did using my X-Tool laser. So what I did is do four test holes on my laser until I had the resistance for the belt buckle tab. So the fourth try was the charm for me. So I used tape on both sides and that's to protect the leather and measured the center. Uh, the holes were one inch apart. So I just went ahead and marked those with the marker and moved on to the laser. So I taped the belt down to the backer board to keep it stable so that it didn't move. I like to leave my pieces for 15 to 30 seconds to let the exhaust fan get rid of the fumes. I have an 185 CFM exhaust add-on. The tape really helped reduce the char, hardly any char at all, but I did cut this three times. I really appreciate you liking and subscribing, and thanks for watching. If you've used your laser for leather working, comment below. Thanks.